Hey everybody, thanks for coming to Raya's tie-dye. I am Raya. We are doing a tapestry today and it's gonna be a full rainbow mandala. But before we do that, I have to show off my phone case. So I finally found a tie-dye phone case. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> Yay me. Okay, so anyways, we are doing a full rainbow mandala tapestry it's a 58 inch by 58 inch so it's pretty big just like the one behind me but if you haven't already hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell it will notify you every single time I post a video and then you won't miss out on anything so also all these tapestries all these shirts they're gonna be available on my Etsy shop there's a link in my channel art on my homepage, and there's also a link in the description below. So check that out too. So we are going to start our awesome tutorial. Okay, so first, this has been uh, soaked in soda ash. Um, normally you just soak it for 20 minutes, but it has soaked a lot longer than that, which doesn't hurt it any and uh, I actually spun this out in the, the washer just to get the excess out. So we're going to fold this in half. It's a lot easier said than done sometimes. And then smooth out any wrinkles. Make sure it's lined up. All right, and then we're going to fold it in half again. So now we got a square. Just make sure everything's lined up. Sometimes with these, um, depending on where you get them from or if you make your own, um, they won't exactly line up because maybe they're not the exact lengths that they tell you they are. So right now, this is our very center of our tapestry. These are the outside corners. So we're going to do this paper airplane style. So what we're going to do is here's the corner. We're going to fold this side all the way up, line those up so that it's got a perfect point on the end, smooth that out a little bit. You want to try to smooth that out as much as you can every time you fold it. And then we got to do the same thing with the other side, but the best way I do it is I grab the corner and then I grab up here where it meets. I pick it up, flip it, and then line, make sure that side's lined up as well. Just move it out. And then, so you can see these, there's two folds right here. We're going to take this side again and <laughs> no, we're not. We're taking these sides. <laughs> All right. So these two folds right here, we're going to take them again and bring them back over to line them up with the very outside and you got to have a point and Like I said, sometimes these don't line up exactly how you want them to, but it still looks awesome. So you can kind of see it's starting to look like a paper airplane. All right, so now I have this pinched so that all of the fabric is in my fingers so that none of the fabric slips out. And I have my other hand on the point. Pick it up, flip it over, line those up. 
not going to be perfect like I said, but as long as you got it the way you want it. And then I'm going to flip it back over. So you see all these folds. And then on this side, there's only two. So there's our folded paper airplane. And now we are ready to draw on it. Okay, so we are going to get started on the drawing part. Now we're just doing the mandala, so we're just going to do a big, big zigzag all the way up. And I have sinew, scissors, and a washable marker. And if you need any of those, I have links in the description below for those as well. Um, it will take you to Amazon, which is one of the best online stores you can get. So I'm going to start with my washable marker. This is always washed out for me. I have never had a problem with it. Um, so I use, it's crazy art. I just, it's my kids. So <laughs> I just use my kids' markers. So if they go disappearing, they probably will know that it was me. So just going to do a zigzag. So I'm, I always start with the side that has the two folds instead of the four. So if you look, I'm just going to start on the left and go up to the right. And then I'm going to go from the right and go up to the left. And I'm kind of doing longer lines because I want the mandala parts to be more sharp and not as fat. So I'm going to do longer strides, I guess you can call them. So I'll go up again. And I'm excited to do this. I've been talking about doing a huge rainbow mandala for a little while because I have never done one like that. I'm always trying to do different designs, but who doesn't like a rainbow? All the way up. Now this part, you can see that you have this part of the tapestry is going to end and then you only have a little bit of this left and then you have all of this. We're just going to keep going until we run out of fabric because it's not going to hurt it any and it'll just take up the whole thing which is even better. So these ones are probably going to be fat ones and then these ones are going to be sharp ones but It'll add a little texture to it. So, I can add one there. All right. There's that. And then I have my sinew. Make my knot real quick. Okay. Start at the bottom. Come back down here. I like to leave a little extra on my end so that when I pull it, it doesn't undo itself. So with the bottom here, it's a little harder to do a pleat fold down here because you do have a thick amount of fabric and you can't pleat fold like a half an inch, I guess. I mean, you probably could, but I'm not that skilled, I guess, but I am. I just don't try it. So I hold the sinew right where the marker stops at the top and then I pull it tighter if it will stay on there. So I just pull it just to get it on there and then I adjust it before I pull it all the way. So that is so when you tie these two, they're going to look like waves, I guess, when you're done tying them. Your whole tapestry, I mean, is going to look like waves. 
And then, so that's one, and I'm gonna wrap it around three times because the sinew is waxy, and it actually kind of um, holds it on its own. You don't have to tie it off or anything, which is awesome. And I like to cut this little guy off because it gets in my way. So, and I don't wanna keep cutting the sinew, so I'm just gonna keep going. And we're gonna move this way. This is the hardest part, is when you use the whole roll of sinew, you have to maneuver around. All right. So this one I like to scrunch right up. It's a lot easier that way. If you scrunch it up and you can't pleat fold it, that's the best way. Just scrunch it up so that the line matches and get your sinew around it the best you can. Make sure you get all your fabric in there. And you're lined up. I tried to, so I've got it on the top of the line and I got it down here on the sinew part that I just did. Wrap it all the way back up, and I'm just for good measure. I'm gonna pull over top instead of underneath. And I always put my palm on it just because it holds it down good enough. You're not hurting yourself. And then when you pull with the sinew, you wanna try to steer clear of it because it will cut you. There we go. And we're gonna kind of try to plate fold this one because it's a little more, but it gets thicker and thicker. So again, wrap it up. You have to feel underneath. Make sure that your sinew is not in a wacky spot. really repetitive but once you guys see what it actually looks like afterwards you're probably gonna want to do it over and over again because it's awesome You can see it's starting to wave up. Now it should get a little bit easier to pleat fold, but your pleats are gonna be kind of big. <laughs> Just make sure those lines match up. Also, if you didn't know already, sinew is my favorite thing to use because I love 
the white lines that it makes it makes so if you have a design like a heart or say a clover like we're gonna do for St. Patty's Day then the the sinew will make white lines so if you don't want the white lines they do have kite string that works really good I don't personally use it I should try it here and there but I think the sinew just looks really cool, especially with mandala. Now it's gonna get a little tricky because I gotta try to slip this in here where all the waves are creating their folds. So, wrap it around three times. See, so now, so it's starting to wave up. And so now your lines are gonna get, you can still, you complete fold just fine. You just, the uh, sinew, you gotta yeah, make sure it's lined up really good. If you don't, it's gonna look like a mandala, but it's still gonna look like it got bunched up a little bit. Come on. I'm getting caught in every little nook in here. Couple more. Gotta show the fabric from the boss right now. But you'll be happy you did because when you open it up, you're gonna have an awesome new tapestry on your wall and you're gonna be like, you know who showed me how to do that? Raya did. And she's awesome. Okay, I'll be here. <laughs> Alright, so this is starting to bunch up a little bit, so if you can, we're just gonna feel this out and see what it feels like and what is bunched and what is not. Just let it stay pretty good. So you can just put your hands, your fingers underneath and just feel if there's anything out of place. This is actually staying pretty well. It's not all the way lined up because it's everything's bunched up, but it's not bunched up in the center or in here is what I'm saying. This is gonna be a little tricky. Here we go. 
more. Now this one is bunched up, definitely bunched up. So I'm just going to find all the folds. Alright, make sure they're lined up because this is where if you just grab it and go, it's gonna get messed up and look kind of funky. This should be easier though because the, there is less fabric in here so you will have the thicker fabric up here on the side but you're running out so after you get these fold, folded you won't have any thick spots. Look at how nice that looks. <sighs> now this is all bunched up. <laughs> Don't know if that's gonna turn into what I want it to turn into. So let's see what we can do here. So I could. Yep, see all those corners are all bunched up in there. So I can just wrap these up. That would be just as good. So that's what I'm going to do. Wrap them up. Get some lines out of them. But I'm going to leave this last one. I'm not going to tie that one because if I tie that one it's just going to look weird. So I'm going to wrap this once or twice more just to make sure it's got a hold on itself. Alright, so there is our big old mandala that we're going to do. So we are going to do a rainbow. So going to be probably, we're going to start with red, I think. So red, orange, right? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Perfect. Look at that. Colors twice. All right. Stay tuned for the next part. All right, you guys. So we're ready to dye. I've got my rainbow right here. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So we're going to do that. Start down here, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. All right, I'm probably gonna speed this up because you can watch me do it, but we'll be back.
All right, so it's been like 30 something hours due to my schedule. So it's nice and dyed and has sat for a while. So a purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, and then again, the bottom. If you are pumped to see what this is gonna look like, hit that like button and then comment which one is your favorite tapestry so far. So I would love to hear that or see that rather. And don't be afraid if you guys have any questions, you can also comment on any of my videos to get a hold of me or go to my Facebook link. There's also a contact seller on Etsy. You can go to my Etsy. That looks awesome so far. I can't wait. Up next, you guys, we're going to have a St. Patty's Day t-shirt. I'm really excited about that one. I do a lot of crumples because they look cool. And this one's going to have crumple in it. My gosh, you guys, these white wines look awesome. Look at that. Better with one line of singing, so then I wouldn't have to pick it all this. It's almost done. Check that out. That is awesome. You can see all the lines already. I'm excited. All right, so I'm excited. Ready? Ooh, the whole thing. I got the rainbow. All right, guys, up next is St. Patty's Day shirt. And then there will be another tapestry coming up after that. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for next time.